Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how we can do incredibly fast fade in and fade out effects for both the video and audio tracks inside of DaVinci Resolve 14. So, when you hover over a video track or an audio track, you may notice in the top left or the top right hand corners, there are these little knobs, they're white, and if you actually click on those and drag them over, what you're going to notice is that there's going to be this line that goes across from the starting point at zero seconds to wherever you drop this little knob. And when you let go, that's actually creating a fade in effect. So if I go ahead and play this now, an experiential intuitive taste of these. you can see that the video is slowly fading in from zero zero, where it should be completely black to wherever we drop that off. Now, the same kind of thing happens with the audio track, except obviously we're fading in the sound levels instead of the video. So if I drag this little icon over here, we bring it to the right, it's got the same kind of thing going on there. Um, the audio levels are gonna slowly fade in until it gets to the full um, sound levels, basically the full decibel count of the regular video. However, uh, one extra thing that the audio does have instead of the video track is that there is a second point here. And this little circle, we can drag that in order to adjust the curve. So rather than having a flat line, we can have it uh, basically take a long time to start fading in the audio and then quickly fade in as it gets to that end point of the fade in effect. Or we can have it, uh, if we drag this over here, we can have it fade in very quickly, and then only a small amount of the remaining fade in occurs as it reaches that point over there. It's really wherever you want the curve to be. Um, so in general, you can think of it as the more of this dark area, the black area that's hovering over the audio clip, that means that that's more sound suppression for that point in the timeline. So anyway, let's go ahead and play this with the audio and the video, and I'll drag this over here so that it's a quicker fade in. Just some examples to give you an experiential intuitive taste of the... And you can see how it just slowly fades in the audio, it slowly fades in the video. And if we want that to be a quicker effect, we would just drag these points over here to the left. Play it one more time. So, just some examples to... So you can see we have a much faster fade in effect. So if we want to do that to the end as well, we can do that very easily. It's the same idea, except we're dragging these points from the last moment in the uh, clip to the left to get a fade out and same thing with the audio tracks note that we still have the second middle point where we can control the speed of the fade in whether we want it to fade out uh, very quickly or if we want it to fade out slow at the start and fast at the end or if we just want it to be a linear fade so let's go ahead and play this Okay, so that's pretty much it for doing the quickest fade in effects you can have inside of DaVinci Resolve. As you can see, uh, no right clicks necessary. All you need to do is drag those little white notches to where you want them, and you'll be good to go. So I've been Chris. I hope you found this video useful, and I will see you guys in my future video content.